You've got your designs, now it's time to turn them into products and start selling. In this video, I'll walk you through Printful's My Products, your all-in-one hub for creating and publishing products to your store. If you're new to Printful, this will show you exactly how to get started. And if you've been selling with Printful for a while, this update will make managing your store even easier. That way you can spend less time on setup and more time growing your brand. Let's get started. The My Product section is located in your Printful dashboard menu on the left side. Click it to see all your products in one place. Think of it as your product command center. Everything you need to create, edit, and manage your designs is right here. The section is divided into two categories, product templates and published products. Now let's take a look at product templates. Think of this section as your product lab. Here you can create and save product drafts that aren't visible in your online stores yet. You can always come back, refine them, and publish them once you're ready. Each template has a drop-down menu with extra options. For example, you can share a template with a link so others can preview it or even order the product. You can also edit and duplicate it and more. You can also place manual or sample orders for your product templates by clicking New Order. Sample orders are especially useful for checking the quality of your products and designs before you start selling them. A great way to stay organized is by grouping your templates into collections. Collections let you sort and label products however you like. For example, you might create a Christmas collection to keep all your seasonal products in one place. It's a simple way to quickly find what you need. To create a new product, click Create Product. This will open the Printful product catalog where you'll find hundreds of items ready to customize with your designs. For this tutorial, I'll be customizing the unisex staple t-shirt from Bella Canvas. I'll choose printing as my customization technique, DTG printing as the method, and select a shirt color, in this case, burnt orange. Then I'll click Start Designing. If you already have stores connected to your Printful account, you'll be asked to choose which store you want to publish your product to. For example, I could choose to publish mine directly to my Shopify store. But if you don't have a store connected yet, like in my case right now, you'll simply be creating a product template. Later, once you connect a store, you can publish that template. I'll show you how to do that later in the video. The Design Maker is where you bring your products to life by adding your designs. Most brand builders upload their own artwork by clicking Upload or Drop Your Design here. But for this example, I'll be customizing a t-shirt using one of our pre-made quick designs. When you're happy with your design, click Save Template. Congrats, you've created your first product template. On this page, you'll see a quick summary of the product details. Click here to go back to My Products where your new product will be listed. Now let's see how to publish your product templates to your online store. From your product templates, find the item you want to start selling and click Publish. If you don't have a store connected yet, you'll see a message prompting you to connect one. Click Connect Store and you'll be taken to the Stores page where you can explore e-commerce platforms like Shopify or Squarespace or marketplaces like Etsy and Amazon. If this is your first time connecting an e-commerce platform or marketplace to your Printful account, I recommend taking a moment to learn how to choose the best option for your business and how to connect it. I actually have a video that walks you through deciding which platform is right for you, so feel free to pause this video, watch that one, and then come back. You'll also find links in the description to more Printful tutorials that show you how to connect your account to different platforms step by step. If you already have a store connected, a pop-up window will ask you to choose where to publish your product. For this example, I'll publish the t-shirt to my Shopify store. Click Publish and go through the steps. First, choose your mockups. Mockups are digital images that show what your design looks like on a real product. No photo shoot required. Start by picking your mockup style, then select the mockups you want to use in your product listing. Look for the star icon that marks your main mockup, which will appear as the primary product photo in your store or listing. Click Continue to head to the pricing section. This is where you set your product price and profit. The Printful price is what you pay for fulfilling each order. If you check Include Shipping Costs and Calculation, you'll be offering free shipping to your customers, meaning you'll cover the shipping costs yourself. Under Price and Earnings, you can set your markup percentage. This percentage is added to the Printful price to determine the retail price, which is what your customer pays. 
You can also adjust the calculation by focusing on either your earnings or your retail price, depending on what matters most for your business. At the bottom, you'll see the final breakdown, the retail price and your estimated earnings, which is your profit per order. And if you'd like, you can get more detailed by setting prices for each size variant. Just switch on the buy variant toggle. Click continue again to go to the details section. Here you can set your product title, language, and description. You can keep Printful's default description or rewrite it to better match your brand's tone. Once you're happy with everything, click publish. Your product will be uploaded to your store and will also appear in the publish section of my products. And just like that, your product is live in your online store and ready to sell. In the publish section of my products, you'll find all the items you've created and published to your online stores. From this drop-down menu, you can switch between your connected stores and see which products are live in each one. In the product list, you'll see an edit button next to each item. Click it to update details like pricing, shipping options, or even the product design itself. If you scroll down, you'll also find all the product variations such as different sizes and colors. Back in your published products list, you'll also see quick actions in the three-dot menu. From here, you can duplicate a published product, edit prices, or edit description. You'll also find duplicate to templates, which lets you create a product template based on your already published product. That way, you can edit and publish it to another store if you'd like. All of these options make it simple to keep your store or stores up to date. And that's it. Now you know how to use the My Products section of your Printful account to create and publish products. As you've seen, it only takes a few minutes. If you want to keep building your business, I've made plenty of videos that will help you grow. Be sure to check them out next. And in the meantime, happy selling.